In this video we're going to look at Polyboard's edges tooling function. This is how you create a shape on the edge of a panel for cutting or machining. So we've got this front panel selected here which is in fact a door. Once that's selected you can see in the properties menu structure and here click on edit. In the structure menu we're going to select the first option edges tooling. In the dialog box you can decide which edge you want to modify. The door is hinged on the left so let's adjust edge 3 the right side. Then click in this box for tooling and now we can see the default edge style applied. This is written here in curves we've got arc of circle selected. You can apply edging here but we're going to focus on manipulating this curve can actually select from a range of shapes which we've got in our open curves library. Click here to access that library. You can click on the plus button here and import a DXF file with your own shapes. If I cancel this quickly come out you can also get to that open curves library here in the libraries menu at the top. Okay so let's go back into edges tooling right side, apply the tooling. So we've got a range already for you to choose from. Let's show you hat, that's one option. In this case we're going to go for curved front. You've got a section here length of the curve where you can offset from the top and bottom your shape. This pushes it in from the edge. Let's just quickly do a begin offset 200 millimeters so it's pushed down from the top. I'm actually going to take that back out. Just wanted to show you that quickly. Let's go now to width of the curve. So you can change proportionally or with a, with a specific distance how wide the curve is. I'm actually going to do it proportionally. Let's change it to 50%. So the effect is to reduce that curve by 50%. We can invert it which flips it but that will just flip it top to bottom so we won't see any difference but you can do that if you wish and we can turn it round. Let's do that. We've also got a position option. The default is no. If we change it to yes we've got the recess option available now. Let's put a 50 millimeters in. And you can see that the panel has now been reduced in size by that 50 millimeters. I'm just going to take that back out again and click OK. Now if we look at the 3D we can see this shape applied and in this case could be an alternative to a handle for the door. Let's click back into the properties menu. So one final point to make here if we want to edit the tooling we've applied you don't click here on structure edit that will apply another tooling. We go here edge tooling which is now available and the three dots and then edit and we're back in to the original tooling to modify it as we wish. Let's cancel that. Finally we've got a model to show you here which is available in our model library of a round table. Here it is in 3D. So if I click on the tabletop and go edge tooling and the three dot button we can see the edge tooling that's been applied to make this in fact oval table. Thanks very much for watching, goodbye.